Okay, folks, uh, in this movie, we're going to be adding secondary motions. Uh, first of all, we've made a mistake. Uh, as you can see here, our clones are uh, sticking out of our floor, and it, this is definitely not what we want. Uh, simply, uh, I know what happened, but we have changed our uh, cloner uh, position X, Y, and Z. So just uh, zero those values out, and you should be uh, good to go. There we go. So this is the first problem, and it's time to add in more and more uh, effectors. Uh, let me just go to somewhere around here. I'm going to select my cloner, go to MoGraph, Effector, add a plane effector. Let's uh, just move our plane effector down here, and also make sure it's part of the uh, effector null and effector layer and let's name this guy plane 03 uh, this plane uh, let's really small amount lights like let's go to something like 20 and see what it does basically for us and if I just go and move around I just uh, right now affecting all of our clones so what I'm gonna do is go to my falloff tab and uh, change the shape to sphere so it just uh, affecting this part and if it would be better if we just have a bit more fall off let's go to something like 50 percent uh, we don't need to be that gradual now uh, let's i think it's too much let's go to our plane parameter let's go to something like 10 centimeter and see what we are gonna get uh okay that's great so i'm go just going to simply animate this uh, plane from this side uh, from center uh, in the negative x direction uh, so we get a bit of uh, extra secondary motion uh, in between these two uh, wave here so let's uh, just uh, go to frame zero click on uh, this circle control click so you set a keyframe let's go to I don't know let's go to something like frame 65 maybe Okay, and move this plane effector to the left until it gets out of our cloner setup. And control click to have another um, sort of keyframe there. And we're going to be, there is our plane effector. Let me actually uh, turn off these two plane effector their visibility. So we're just uh, focusing on our third plane effector and see how it will actually affect our uh movement i think we can let me just go to a bit more tighter timeline so we can focus on our frame range right now uh, i think i'm going to uh, select this keyframe here and move it forward a bit so it kind of gets between those two motion something like this and that will definitely, even though it's simple, but it adds a lot. I think I'm going to select this plane and go to your fall off in the Z direction. I'm going to make it a bit more bigger. So something like this. So, okay. That's definitely not too bad. Let's just um, control, uh, drag this uh, third plane. And it's going to be our number four. Make sure it has been added to your effectors list. Okay, and now go to your planer, and uh, I'm just going to my, uh, this is the keyframe, so select the second keyframe and change the value from negative to uh, positive. This is negative, let's see how much is this, 702, let's go to something like, uh, this time 700, and now we're going to be adding this motion to the other side, as you can see, very nice. Now, if you want to get a bit more variation, you can simply, for example, go to this plane effector and make sure it has a bit more effect, something like 15, for example. And um, there we go. Now you have this sort of motion. Okay. So very nice and very simple. Let's just um, stop this and hit play again. And this is our motion that we have. Uh, and let's add a bit more planers to these uh, two other sides, basically, uh, for here and here, even though I really don't think it's uh, we're going to need them. And I think we have uh, enough motions and enough secondary motions. Uh, and um, let's see what happened if we add a 
a little bit of delay effector to this whole setup uh, and see the effect of it. So let's go to uh, MoGraph, make sure you have your cloner selected, MoGraph effector and then delay effector. Put your delay effector down here. Uh, generally speaking, this is not the only reason that I, uh, that I put my effectors uh, down here in this list. Uh, in uh, Cinema 4D, the order of execution is from uh, up to down. So basically, this list uh, gets executed from uh, this studio to this delay effector. And because we need our effector to be executed after our cloner has been created. So generally speaking, it's a good idea to make sure your effectors always uh, down your list. Not always, but in most cases. Uh, there are some cases that you need your effect, effectors to be executed before something else, but uh, generally speaking, uh, our rule of thumb is that you have to put effect, put your effectors down uh, in the list. So this is our two planer. Let's just uh, go to our delay effector. I'm going to the uh, parameters uh, uh, effector here, and let's uh, uh, try the spring method and go to something like 71% and see what we have. And also I'm going to my select my cloner, uh, cloner user data and sh uh, turn on this proxy so it gets rendered a bit more quicker. Hit play and look at that effects that delay effector has on those. I think it's really nice. And we can definitely select our delay effector and make it a bit more powerful and see how it will be and definitely look at these extra nice motions that delay effector adds uh, and I really I'm really digging it I think it's really great and even though I didn't use it uh, in my uh, project but I think uh, definitely it's a good idea to use it so let's just go to a frame when you are using delay effector so you have to really you can't go through your timeline you have to play all the time to see what's going on otherwise delay effector gets confused and uh, you're gonna get a uh, problem. So uh, there we go, we have this nice uh, complex motions and uh, it is definitely very uh, nice. The only thing that remains, uh, uh, I think, uh, we need after this whole motion is done, uh, so everything is kind of goes down here, uh, we need sort of uh, uh, extra motions, extra motion around our main logo. When our main logo appears, uh, these main cloners shouldn't be this uh, silent here and we need some more extra motions here. Uh, and uh, a bit more randomness, I think, will add uh, sort of extra flavor to our whole setup and that would, uh, what we're gonna be doing definitely in our uh, next lesson. Uh, and uh, so uh, I think uh, it's enough for this lesson and I am uh, just going to save this and see you in the next lesson.